right, a 42. It's gonna ring up as a 14. It's gonna say 14 karat white gold. Check that out, can you see it? That's when it kind of officially all kicks off for me. But I've been having some pretty good weeks even before Memorial Day weekend. But I'm headed to the lake today. It's Sunday and we don't have church on fifth Sundays and, and in the evenings. And so I've got a free evening and I know the lakes are going to be packed out uh, today. So I'm just going to go to the lake that's real close to my house. And then I'm going to get up early in the morning and head out to some more lakes and try to be the first ones out there. And be the first one on the goodies if there are any goodies. But anyway, I'm excited about getting out. It's pretty hot, it's 90 degrees right now in Texas. And, but that could change tomorrow, it could be 50 degrees, who knows. But I think the heat is here, it's here to stay. And the water's getting warmer, and the lakes are getting full up with people every day. So water hunting ought to be good from now all the way up to about Labor Day. And so I'll be on the hunt. So anyway, I'm gonna head over to the lake, and uh, hopefully it's not too packed. It's uh, six o'clock right now. I figure by seven it'll be pretty uh, less crowded and be able to move around a little bit. But anyway, I will see you guys in the water. All right, Preacher Digger got his cross. So it's an official episode now. It's a neat cross, little like nails tied together or something like that. That's really cool. Uh, all right, there's a lot of people out here. So let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find something else. All right, I got another little signal right here close where that cross is. And it's a, a uh, I don't know, it's stainless steel. It looks like there was something in there at one time. That's part of a necklace. All right, let's keep on looking. Maybe we'll get a gold ring. I had to come out here in the deep water to get away from everybody. I just dug this, uh, either it's 10 karat or 18 karat gold with rose gold on the side right there. Very pretty ring. Can't believe I just found that. That's nice. Maybe there's some more stuff out here. I dug that little gold rope ring that you saw, but uh, I was digging out of my pocket and I lost it somewhere along the way. So I've got one ring that I found, but I can't claim it because it's back in the lake somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to claim it anyway. That's that's going to be a good uh, good find. I might come across it again. But anyway, that's a good find. Let's uh, keep going. See what else we can get out here. next lake this is Memorial Day so I thought I'd get an early start I had about an hour drive to get here and uh, yeah, there's nobody here and today's gonna be a busy day too so I wanted to get in and get out before a lot of the crowd got here beach is pretty much stirred up a lot of I can see a lot of movement on it a lot of footprints and disturbances so I'll probably search the sand a little bit today too and uh, right here where I'm standing right now is where I found that gold, 18 karat gold ring a few weeks ago. A lot of trash out here today though. All right, I'm here, let's get in the water. Let's see what we can find. All right, I got my first target for the morning. I've just made one sweep down, found an earring, one sweep back, and I got this uh, 70, 71 signal. It's gonna be a tungsten ring. Uh, it looks nice, real heavy. I like these chunks and rings. And so that's a good sign. It hasn't been hit yesterday evening. I dug a full, full bottle cap, a full tab. 
and so ring number one for the day ring number three for this video so let's keep looking see what else is out here all right ring number two it's ringing up like a 76 so i don't know if it's going to be gold it looks gold but i don't, I don't think it's going to be real gold but anyway i'll take it ring number two and i'm just right here my fourth sweep through so digging all those iffy signals so that looks good it's got kind of a neat looking stone on it right there all right let's keep on going i was getting a 28 to a 32 real scratchy and it looks like it's going to be a, a charm bracelet with a some anchors on it another good find i'm on the other side of the barrier and just going down the first sweep down this side now headed out to the deep water so let's keep on going well I'm making my way back up out of the deep into the shallow and i got a, a 50 53 and it's going to end up being a stainless steel ring and uh, that's my third ring out of here and it's not gold it's not silver but it's a ring and uh, i'm going to hit the beach behind me just a little bit and then i'm going to head on down to another swim area all right let's keep rolling all right, new spot. Let's see if it pays off or not. All right, got my first ring at the... Sorry about the wind. It's real windy down here. It's ringing up like a 76, 78 to an 80. <clears throat> and uh, it's going to be a silver ring with a little diamond in it. So that's pretty nice. Uh, first one in this hole. And uh, been here about 10 minutes. All right, let's keep going. Out here in the shallow end, again, kind of working myself back out to the, the beach and going to the next area, but got a 60 here. I don't think it's precious. I can't see the markings though, but it's a nice little ring. Got a nice little stone in it. I have to look at it later on and see if it's going to have a, a marking being precious or whatever. But hey, I'll take that. That's the second one out of here. Fifth one for the day. Still got one more swimming area to go today. May hit another lake later on. Uh, but anyway, nice ring. Let's keep on rolling. All right, making my way down to the third swim area. Got three rings in that first one, two rings in the second one. Let's see what this third one does. It's a smaller one. It's the smallest of the three and not as well swimmed. But I normally get one ring out of it, so hopefully uh, I'll get that. So I'll see you guys in the water. Well, I've just got a uh, like an 85 signal up in the shallow water. And uh, looks like it's going to be a Sororo cactus with a flower on it, a rose or something like that. That's a silver ring. That's the first one out of here. It's real quiet. Not a lot of trash in here either. So uh, I may make one more sweep through and then call it a day and go somewhere tonight or get up at the crack of dawn in the morning and go out and see what I can get in the morning. All right. I'll see you at the next hole. Well, I came out to another lake. I wasn't expecting to come to this one, but I heard it was open again. It was closed last year and uh, some bacteria in the water or something like that but uh, it's open again so i'm going to hit it and uh, see what we can find well it just got a uh, real scratchy signal i can't i don't remember the number on that it's like a 40 something and uh creature digger they got a second cross it's very windy i hope you can hear me but uh been out here for a couple hours and uh, starting to find some stuff, so let's keep on looking. I uh, got me a like a 60 signal. I can't read uh, any writing on it, but it looks like it's rose gold and uh, yellow gold, but I can't really tell. It's just kind of real worn. I have to wait till I get back later on and see if we can uh, see what this is. It's got looks like got diamonds on it. So that's another ring that's three, four, five, six, number seven for the day, and nine for the for the video so far. Let's keep on looking. Alright, got me a real jumpy signal. And on the clasp of this thing it says it's gonna be 18k. I don't think it's real. Uh, it's a rope chain. I think it's going to be 18 karat gold plated is what it's going to be. 
I'll look at it a little bit closer. I think that's what it said. My eyes are not the best out here. All right, starting to get on to stuff. Let's keep on rolling. All right, check that out. Bringing up a static 42, jumpy 42. It's gonna end up, I thought it was gonna be stainless steel. I had to come down here the other end of the lake to film it to many people. And uh, it looks, I think it says 14K on it. So it'll be 14K white gold. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, let's keep on rolling. Well, it has been quite a day. It's five o'clock. I'm headed to my next lake, believe it or not. I'm gonna go back and hit the lake that I found those two gold rings in uh, yesterday and uh, see what else just what was dropped today. It's gonna be real busy. And then I'm gonna get up in the crack of dawn in the morning and be at two more lakes um, and try to be the first one on these lakes because there ought to be a lot of, lot of jewelry there, a lot of rings. Hopefully, if no one hunts them this evening. Uh, but yeah, two rings yesterday and then first hole this morning, three rings, second hole, two rings, third hole, one ring. Then I just forgot about this lake over here it was a little bit out of the way, but since I was that, this side of East Texas, I thought I would hit it and end up getting those, that gold ring and that other ring, I think it's just gold plated, and that gold plated necklace and that cross. So it was worth the trip coming over here, getting that 14K white gold ring. All right, next lake, let's see what we can get. Uh, I hunted it pretty good, but it was pretty crowded yesterday. So there's gonna be some places I didn't get. So I'll see you guys out in the water just got here two other guys are here already too uh, from East Texas and got to meet them hopefully they're gonna find some good stuff and uh, one's gonna hunt the water one's gonna hunt the beach and uh, I'm gonna get in the water and uh, see what we can get so let's get at it been out here about uh, five minutes made one pass down and came back up in the shallow water getting a good solid 48 it's gonna be a dog tag I think it's gonna have the Lord's Prayer on it and a cross so preacher digger got his cross for the day all right, let's keep on rolling. It's hitting a 90. So that could be a silver ring. Let's uh, go down there and let's see if we can get it. Well, it's a silver ring. It's a pretty one too. Ring up at 90, 91. That's usually indicative of silver. We got another person in the water with us. So we got four guys out here today. So let's keep swinging. Well, got that one ring. Moving on to the next lake. Let's see what we can get. All right, I got a, like a 42, 48, kind of real jumpy. It's gonna be a stainless steel bracelet. It's the only thing I've found so far other than a nickel. Just, uh, I thought there'd be more targets out here, but this may have gotten hunted yesterday on Memorial Day, but uh, we'll see. Let's keep on rolling, see what else is in here. Well, I was pulling up a, what I thought was a pull tab. It was a 56, jumping up in a pull tab, and I did scoop up a pull tab, but I also looked in the bottom of my scoop and I saw this tungsten ring. So I was getting dual signals right there, and uh, but it didn't sound like a, it had the numbers of a pull tab, but didn't have the tone of a pull tab. It was much deeper, real iron sounding, well, like a tungsten ring will sound. But but hey, that's a that's a ring. That's number twelve on this video. All right, let's keep going. See if there's anything else out here. Well, I was just on my way out, swinging myself to a straight line to my truck and got a 6061 and thinking it was just going to be another pull tab because um, it had that double hit and ended up being 
I think it's going to be a white gold little ring. Can you see that? Check that out. Man, that's number what? 14 ring? 13 and the toe ring? And I'm thinking about now going back up to uh, that lake again I was at yesterday where I found those uh, six rings. Just take today off and do it. So why not? Let's go do it. Well, I tell you, this was a, a big risk from the lake that I was at to this lake here. It's about an hour and 20 minute uh, drive, about 70 something miles. But I was thinking, this is the day after Memorial Day, and I just hunted this lake. It would be the second lake on, my, on the beginning of this video. And I'm just thinking, well, what if no one came and hunted this? This is a very big uh, swim area. And uh, so it's going to be a big risk. Either I was going to come here and someone's already beat me to it, and it's going to be a total bust. And then I would just have to go home empty-handed, or it was going to be really good. Well, I get here, there's only a few people swimming, and guess what? No one hunted it. Now, I didn't film in the water uh, other than just my basket because there's people there, and I don't like filming around people and showing, when, I, especially when I get rings and stuff like that. But let me show you what I found uh, as far as rings. I found a lot of earrings. I found uh, some, you know, tidbit stuff. But I got three rings. Now check this out. No sooner than I got in the water, my second target was this right here. It's a toe ring. I think it's stainless steel. I don't see any markings on it. Uh, it's a peace symbol. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a, I thought then, hey, I, I dug two more earrings after that and dug this. And then I got off into the deep water and I got a real scratchy 68. And what, it's a beautiful tungsten ring. A lot of people don't they think these are junkers I don't think these are junkers I think these are good rings and uh, but very nice I like gold tungsten like that real heavy I thought for a second it was gonna be gold and that would be cool to get a gold ring but uh, I came back up in the shallow and worked the shallow and um, I didn't get anything in the shallow so I was gonna work myself up onto the dirt the sand and as I came out of the the water into the wet sand I could see this, this, um, just sticking up out, of, just the top edge, just like that, sitting flat out of the ground. That's all it was. Ran my coil over it. It's hitting up in an 80 something. It's a silver ring, beautiful silver ring too. Check that out. Right on the, right on the dirt, right when I was coming out. Always keep your eyes on the ground. So that's three rings, right there. And. Uh, now there's two more swim areas on this lake and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit those as well and just see what's there. Okay, I'll see you back in the water. Well, I'm at the second swimming area and uh, just got this uh, 60, about uh, shoulder deep water here. Yeah, I don't think it's gold. I couldn't see markings on it, but I have to look when I get back and see. Um, it could have. It looks like gold. It rings up kind of like gold. It was ringing up a, not a 60, it was a 47. 47. And uh, that's the first promising sign. Let's keep looking, see if there's any more rings. I get one more ring, that'll be 18 rings on this uh, video. And that'll be my record for the week. 17 is my record. 12 in a day, 17 in a, in a week. And this is my third day out, and I'm at 17 right now, so we're going for that number 18. Let's get it. Man, y'all check this out. Let's ring it up like a, a 53 to 58. It's long. It's probably 30 inches long. I'm gonna measure it when I get back. It's, I believe it's gold. I can't see any markings on it yet, but uh, I get my magnifying glass on it later on. I can tell. But uh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, it looks gold, doesn't it? But uh, that looks really good. I think I'm gonna end on this and head on into the house. This is a good way to end with this good find. So I had a good weekend. And uh, so I'll see you guys at the wrap up. All right, got in from the lakes, had a great week. I went on a Memorial Day weekend. I went on a Sunday evening, I think then all day Saturday, uh, then no, Sunday evening, all day Monday on Memorial Day. And then also took Tuesday off the day after and did that. And boy, was it a great, great 
week, I mean three days, I went to uh, probably only one, two, three, four, four or five lakes, but I re uh, went twice, one at the beginning of the weekend and then right after Memorial Day, and I'm glad I did. I started not to, because I had plenty to make a video, but I went back and boy did I find more stuff on the second trip, as you've already seen. And so I got it all laid out for you. Let me show you what I got. There's my aluminum caps, a bunch of iron back here, a lot of bobby pins and those vape things, an old cell phone. That's old. That's like a NCIS Gibbs phone. Uh, a lot of fishing lures. Be amazed how many of those you find in a swim area. A lot of fishing weights. And then tons of bottle caps, beaver tails, and square uh, square uh, pull tabs. And the reason why I dig these, people may say, well, you know what they sound like. They sound real scratchy, and you know what they sound like. Why, why dig them? Just leave them in there and not dig them up. Well, number one, we get them out of the swimming area. It's easier to detect the next time around. But sometimes that can fool you. That could be a silver chain that's real staticky, and so you dig it up, or a stainless steel chain. So that's why I dig these, because it could be stainless steel or silver chains, what they sound like. And the reason why I dig these two is because these can be uh, stainless steel rings, that just the beaver tail part on it, and uh, the whole one rings up like a 60, so it could be, you know, some other ring in there. They can also be gold rings, and these can be gold rings. In fact, if you saw in my last video, or two videos back, that gold uh, medallion Jesus uh, secret heart medallion it sounded just like one of these rang up at 53 but the tone was different and so that's why I dig all this trash because you never know what you're skipping when you skip over it got one little toy I don't know some chubby little thing here's all my treasures I got one two three four five six seven eight nine dollars and quarters and two of these were quarter spills with about uh, eight or uh, eight or twelve quarters in each one and so or eight was in one and I think three or four was in the other one um, Let's see. I got five ten fifteen twenty four Pennies and one weedy I dug out My dimes I got uh, five ten fifteen dimes and then five ten fourteen nickels in one recovery ten months of recovery uh, this is a I think a Christian recovery maybe celebrate recovery I'm not sure but uh, that's a 10 month good for them too bad they lost their coin though got a pair of sunglasses lots of uh, loop earrings lots of uh, stud earrings I got a stainless steel bracelet some other type of bracelet then I got an anchor chain bracelet <clears throat> And then I got some other bracelet. And then I got this chain here is an 18 karat gold. That's what it says on the clasp. But it must be an 18 karat gold plate. It must have been in the ground for a long time. But then I dug this one up. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. Look at this. Can y'all see how long that is? Let me get it out here where you can see it. It is so long. Uh, I thought it was gold. But it's stainless steel, doggone it. I thought I had a big gold chain there. But stainless steel, creature digger and put a cross on it and wear some bling now. I got a T necklace. I got some other type of little shield necklace. Another little Lord's Prayer uh, dog tag. And then preacher digger, get his crosses. Check that out. There's one cross. There's two crosses. There's three crosses. Four crosses. And I actually lost an earring that had a cross on it. So I've got my share of crosses this time. That's what you get when you live in the south where buckle of the bible belt you get a lot of christian jewelry in the lakes all right here comes my rings i got two toe rings uh one's a turtle and i dug another one of these in the same lake last year or year before now i can have two of those things uh here's a stainless steel uh peace and love ring then these are my costume rings um, they're going to be pretty, but, uh, but they're just silver plated or something. They're not real. I couldn't get a marking on that one. I couldn't read it, but, uh, pretty rings though. Nonetheless, one stainless steel ring. And then we have our tungstens. I have to look up JVL and tungsten carbide. That gold one's very, really, very pretty. Here comes my silver rings. I dug that one on top of the ground, that one on the left, and then the one with a diamond there. 
This one here says sterling, and uh, sterling means it's going to be somewhere around 1970 and earlier, so it's a vintage silver ring. And uh, they started stamping 925 around, I guess, around the late, early 70s, somewhere around there. Then that's a James Avery silver and bronze ring. So I get to add, that's number 31 of my James Avery. I've given some away and sold some, so I don't know what I would normally be up to. But here's gold. Here's my 14 karat gold. You can see the marking in the back. White gold ring. And then here is a, I thought it was 18 karat, but it says 10 karat. Rose gold and yellow gold ring so check that out and there's one more gold ring that goes right here you saw in the first video of this and i lost it it's a little gold rope ring and i lost it somewhere i was digging in my pouch in that pocket right there and when i pulled it up it fell out into the water i went back to look for it couldn't find it but there's one there's one more there so one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and one more would have been 17, 17 rings. So I had a great one evening and two full days. And uh, I guess I went to about 13 swim areas. That's how you total them up, 13 swim areas or 12 swim areas I did. And that's what you get. Uh, it just repeats itself every week. There's just more that goes back in there. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. The greatest treasure isn't what you can go out in the lakes and find and put on your tailgate and make a video. The greatest treasure, my friend, is sitting up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.